with the department. <laughs> I don't believe it guys. I do not believe it. Apparently the Veninos are at Lamborghini Long Island right now being taken out of the showroom. They're headed to Manhasset and I have to get there right now. It is pouring rain. There is no way but I have a picture. The cars are there. Oh Veninos! I found the Veninos but I, I haven't. I actually haven't found them yet. I'm I'm searching for them. Come on, baby. Come on, Fiesta. Yeah, feel that four cylinder. Go, go, go. I shouldn't be doing this while driving. Don't tell anybody. There's no way they're here. There is no way. No way. There's no way. It's not going to happen. Where are you, Veninos? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious, guys. There it is, there it is. What? What is, are you for real? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> They're here. They're right here. There's no way. I'm sure they won't let me in the dealer, but look at that. Holy cow. The people inside the showroom, they're, they're not happy. I don't, they're, they don't look happy. They don't look happy. They're not happy. I, I have to leave. But wow, wow. Have you been in there? They won't let you? Oh my goodness, guys, look at that. There they are. Whoa. That's insane, and I am being told to leave now. So, that's it. Oh, can I come in? They're gonna let us go in. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's so cool. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh. Oh. What? I've, I've been chasing these cars for so long. This is a, this is a, my heart is pounding right now. I cannot believe, I cannot believe I'm actually doing a walk around of a Venino. And not just one, there's two. There's two Veninos with a Huracan uh, police car in the middle. I mean, my goodness, this is like, I flew from Utah just for this opportunity, just for the chance of this opportunity. And it's, it's happening right now. Like, 
<laughs> what? Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I like, my heart is like pounding. I'm like getting chills just because I've been wanting to see these cars. There's only nine roadsters in the world. There's four coupes of which three are customer owned. All the coupes are sort of this gray color and then they each have a different accent color. So this is the red one. Out of Miami, there's a green one and then in Hong Kong, there's a white one. And then the Roadsters, the customers actually got to kind of, they sort of got to choose their specification and the owner killed it on this car. It's the, the, the satin, satin matte white. It's got these red accents. There's only nine Roadsters in the world. And this one is just, it's like a spaceship. And that's what I love about this car. You know, this is Lamborghini right here. I mean, look at this, like this fin, this center mounted fin, what? Like, I love it. And you got the, the open roof scoop and this car is the definition of an open top roadster. There is no soft top. There's no hard top you can still front. This is like, this is a legit roadster. Nine in the world. Base MSRP on this car, four and a half million dollars. And then the coupe, that was just a cool 3.9 million. No big deal. Wow. I cannot thank Lamborghini Long Island enough for this opportunity. Like, this will never happen again. To have the coupe and the roadster in the same spot, like, unreal. I've been so fascinated with the roadster. I've kind of been forgetting the coupe. I mean, there's only three coupes in the world. It's pretty incredible to see the two car. Oh my goodness, this, <laughs> this is so awesome. What an insane car. You can see the three different positions you can adjust the rear wing to for different driving modes. I, I, I don't even have anything to say. I, but I feel like I should be vlogging just because of this opportunity. Like, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm just at a complete loss for words. I, I hope you guys understand the incoherence that I'm displaying right now, but how could I be coherent? I mean, I'm, I'm in the presence of two Veninos. Here's what I love about the Venino. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, that's such an ugly car. But I love how unconventional it is. Like, look at that rear wheel arch right there. What? Like, they could have just done a normal one like every other car, but no. No, they didn't because this is the imagination of like a 12 year old kid. This is what Lamborghini built and I love it. You know, so many automotive, automobile manufacturers, they create, they create what you're expected to create. Conventional designs, cars that have no character. You know, they don't, they don't test the limits of what's possible. But Lamborghini with the Veneno, they did it. They created just the craziest car they could imagine. And I love it. And that's part of the reason I'm a Lamborghini fanboy because that's what Lamborghini is. Like when you look at the Countach, you know, Lamborghini, they're not supposed to be conventional.
Goodness, guys, there you have it the Lamborghini Benino Roadster and the Lamborghini Benino Coupe. My goodness, what an unexpected surprise that was! I mean, it's pouring rain. I'm like, there's no way, there's no way I'm gonna see these cars. Of course, we have the, the 918 Spider and the, the Heritage 4 GT, but these Beninos, I cannot thank Lamborghini Long Island enough for. Letting me see these cars, like, wow. The hunt for the Venino. It happened, I finally found him. Bye, Veninos. Now this thing is just incredibly cool as well. We have the Huracan police car on the Italian plates. Very cool, very, very cool. Lamborghini, Long Island. Thank you. I don't know what just happened. I, I cannot believe that just happened. Now, I woke up this morning and it's pouring rain. There, that wasn't supposed to happen. So, it's pouring rain, but I don't even care. I have no expectations, nor do I care even what shows up at Americana Manhasset today. The Veninos were gonna be here, but because of the weather, I mean, the Roadster doesn't even have a top, so not really an option, but still gonna go see what I can find at Manhasset. It's still pretty early. Still have plenty of time to see all the arrivals, but yeah, I didn't bring an umbrella. Didn't bring a, a rain jacket with me on the trip, so it might be short-lived. We'll see. What's up, man? What's up, James? How's it going? Met you in Car Week. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. you. Missed me. We, we, yeah. we were, we were by the uh, by the one seven seven. Oh right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, and then we ran for the. Could the day get any better? Tesla, Tesla is changing the game. There's more free food. Let's go. This is just, this is so good. I mean, yeah, sure. We have the McLaren P1 over there, but free food. I wonder if I'm allowed to be in here. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's super overexposed. I don't know.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very, very special guest appearance. This is the man responsible for making my entire trip. So, we have Beamer Sam. Now be sure to follow him on Instagram because I wouldn't have seen the Veninas today. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> I wouldn't have seen the Veninas. Follow him, Instagram, Beamer Sam. It's right there. The best thing. What's up, man? Yo, what's going on? How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm James. Cole, nice to meet you. Cole, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, I felt like I was doing like a news interview. <laughs> How's it going? I'm good, how are you? You see, guys, the great thing about today is I have no expectations. The day has been made. And we have a P1. And the best part about this one is that this baller, not only did he park it in race mode, but out of the respect for the photographers, he even turned the wheel ever so slightly so that the car sits perfectly. Now, the best part, well, there's a lot of good things about this car. I keep saying the best part. It's not black. This actually has a tint of purple to it. It's called Amethyst Black, and it's a really, really cool color. And I wish it was sunny so you guys could see the purple flakes. I think the video, you can still see a little bit of purple, but it's amazing. The P1, how aggressive it looks when it's sitting in race mode. It looks so much better. Man, thanks for bringing it out, man. Is that John Wheel? No, sorry. John! I thought it was in your video. John Wheel! It was in that other guy's video. Uh, I don't know, I don't oh. get an introduction. Spencer Modes! Dude, follow these guys. Follow wow. them on Instagram. They're big Great. time. They're big time. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so we have the. Oh, oh. Did you guys see that? Oh. We'll do another take. My feet are freezing. It's so cold, but I saw a Vanina today, so life's good. And we have the Porsche Carrera GT, pretty much the last of the analog supercars. I love it. Kind of like the P1 in race mode when they leave this spoiler up. It just looks so aggressive. It's a pretty cool line because you got the 959, which is the original kind of Porsche supercar, you know, next to the Widowmaker. Unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be a 918 Spider here, but I'm not complaining. And then we also have the, the 911R, which is a pretty awesome car. I mean, this is like the new, the new purest Porsche. The thing about this car though is the values are just, they're out of control. Like base MSRP on a 911R is like, I don't know, right around 200 grand. I can't even keep track of the values right now because they are literally going through the roof. I've heard of 911Rs, the asking price is like $700,000, which that's ridiculous, but it does have a manual transmission, so no complaints from me. And then we also have the GT3 RS, so. Not as big of a show. The rain is, the rain is not very friendly. Well, what? I guess I'm gonna have to take some. What's your picture. name? Devin. Here, Devin. We got Devin right here, man. How's yeah. it going? Pretty good, yeah. What do you think of the P1? It's pretty crazy. Nothing sick. Yeah. And then and we have, we have the Nissan GTR, chrome blue because right? Yeah. Why not? It's crazy. Why not? You gotta do chrome blue. Yeah, you wanna drive a 4C? A 4C? Yeah. He just asked if I want to drive a 4C. My name is yeah. James. William. William? Yeah. Hmm. Well, what do you mean, drive a 4C? Uh, I got a 4C you can drive. Do you own it? Yeah. Wait, so Will, is this is it? Yeah. That thing is gorgeous. Wow. You want me to start it up? Yeah, let's start it up for sure. I'm literally vlogging and Will comes up to me, he's like, you want to drive the, no, you want to drive the 4C? Yeah. Dude, that sounds so yeah. good. You wanna hop in? Yeah, let's do it. Try not to uh, hit the dead tree in the road. That'd be a bad day for both Will and I. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. It's also raining pretty heavy, so 
we're not gonna do anything too crazy. And neither of us even know where we are right now, so. So fast. This thing is awesome. Yeah. Like, this is such a fun little, it reminds me so much of the Lotus. And we're like, we're just like driving slowly, slowly through a neighborhood. Yeah. It's just so good looking. It sounds good. The turbos, that was such a short little drive. I definitely need to get behind the wheel before C again. Really kind of take it through a canyon, see what it's all about. But for the short, short term, that was an awesome, awesome experience. Thanks, man. And be sure to follow him on Instagram right here. The first rule of Lamborghini ownership is to never get caught with your lift up, man. We're at a car show, come on. Yo. I almost just got taken out with an umbrella, but I'm okay because Pagani Waira, the king, the king showed up again. I've seen this car everywhere. I mean, this has got to be one of the highest mileage Pagani Waira's in the world. You got the polished carbon, you got this little tree calori there on the mirror. It's pretty cool. This of course has the one of one of one cup holder, which is a pretty big deal. And then, Obviously we got the King license plate. I mean, I saw this car at Monterey Car Week. What was it, in, in August? I feel like I've seen it elsewhere and this car has been on, it's been on the North Face Rally. It was on the Corsa Rally. And of course he's gonna drive it in the rain. This guy is, uh, he drives his car and I love to see that. Of course we have the Aventador over there as well. But uh, yeah, it's raining cats and dogs. So I think it's time to call it Americana Manhasset. Awesome day. I can't believe I saw the Veninos. I saw two. I saw two Veninos. There's only 13 in the world. I, I can't get over that. Awesome day. If I met you here at Americana Manhasset, thank you for being so friendly. It's awesome to meet subscribers. Yeah, let's finish it off with a Waira. Ooh, 650 as well. The number one question I get all the time is, when am I gonna sell that vintage Lamborghini Gallardo and buy a proper supercar? Well, probably not anytime soon, but if I was going to do it, and if I could afford these cars behind me, I would probably go with the McLaren 570. I think McLaren has killed it.